Every day, shipping routes are jam-packed with trucks, planes, cargo ships, and freight trains carrying millions of items around the globe, many en route to your grocery stores and restaurants. Carbon emissions from all of this shipping is enormous, which is why eat local has always been an important phrase and one that we sought out to better define and make sense of for everyday travelers and consumers. I'm Michelle Steele, and in partnership with Hilton, I'm speaking with individuals and organizations around the globe working to build a more sustainable future. This is Extending Our Stay. This is Chef Josh Murray. Welcome to Summit, the rooftop bar here at the Conrad Washington, D.C. The restaurant at this D.C. hotel, which opened back in 2019, is known for its fresh produce, locally sourced ingredients, herbs grown on site, and as of this summer, an incredible rooftop solar oven. So my first experience with solar cooking was uh, actually when I was in elementary school. <laughs> we used to build solar cookers. We'd make nachos inside of, you know, you aluminum foil and a shoe box, and, you know, it's, it's a very surface level thing but at that time nobody was really thinking to this degree or that technology wasn't there. According to Murray, the solar oven at Summit is relatively easy to use despite needing to get up to temperatures as high as 400 degrees. The reality of it is is that this solar oven is an oven. It just takes a little bit more of a different manipulation of the sun to control the temperature in the thermostat. But we've turned this into a smoker. We can cook low and slow on this and derive an amazing product that's traditional with what you would expect out of barbecue. And the house-made barbecue pork is just the beginning. Marie and his team of chefs hope to experiment with a solar dehydrator that would be used to create bar garnishes and finishing pieces for plates. This country throws away 35, 40% of its vegetables just because it doesn't look right. Uh, so the ability to kind of take sustainability to the next level is really the mission here, and this is just the beginning. Jessica Eyes, a climate change and food security researcher, had similar ideas. We sort of have this very clean idea of what food is, right? Food is a polished apple. Food is a perfectly like cut of the muscle of the, of the beef. So I think that what we have to do is we have to make change that fits within our cultural norms. If you have a piece of fruit and it, it just doesn't look great to you, maybe put it in a smoothie and then you don't have to look at it, right? It's still good, but maybe this doesn't look perfect. Preventing food waste is important, but so is knowing where your food comes from. When you eat local, you reduce your carbon footprint and allow your local economy to thrive. For example, if you're eating a local carrot, it likely only has to travel 27 miles, while a conventionally sourced carrot has to travel 1,838 miles to get to your plate. And from a carbon perspective, more vehicle miles traveled means more emissions, now think about all the food that travels across your city, your country, and the world. The same is true of what you drink. Allison Sokol Blosser of Sokol Blosser Wines in Oregon's famed Willamette Valley wine country agrees. Her wines are served at the local Embassy Suites by Hilton at Washington Square, about 20 miles away from her vineyard. Sokol Blosser pursues sustainable practices in all aspects of business, from lighter weight packaging to locally sourced food served in the tasting room. And in 2002, it became the first winery in the world to receive a leadership in energy and environmental design certification. So when my parents started, they always prided themselves on being environmentalists, but there wasn't a definition of what that meant because the, the word sustainability wasn't even a, a word that people were using. But how do you know what you're getting is the good stuff? So sometimes you'll see on a label made uh, with organic grapes. That's what we put on, on our wines. Uh, you may also see an organic wine uh, notation on it. You may see a reference to sustainable farming practices. Uh, there's a few certifications for sustainable farming. You may also see the certified B Corp logo, which means that the company is engaging in sustainability across its whole operations. Our next stop took us all the way to Cusco, Peru, a popular jumping off point to the famed Machu Picchu, where we met up with Zach Lanham, founder of Zenith Brewery. Zach hails from Australia, but he's made Peru his home, and he's working to cut down on the amount of imported ingredients in his beer by experimenting with local alternatives like quinoa and lemon verbena. 
Notably, his beers are served at the local Hilton Garden Inn. The Hilton got in touch with us looking for someone to provide beer for their bar. They were looking for someone local. We do a lot of work with local communities to recycle some of our product from the beer. So the grain that we use in the brewing process, the, the mash, what t comes out of the mash tun is obviously spent grain. We work with local farmers to send it to local communities here and stuff like that, so that's all recycled and reused. Remember the carrot example? When you drink locally from microbreweries like Zach's, or your own favorite local brewery, the product travels a shorter distance to get to you. For instance, Zenith doesn't ship outside the country, so if you want to give Zach's beer a try, you'll have to wait until your next trip to Peru. So we try and do what we can in those respects, but um, you know, there's always more to be done, I think. We can make one step, and one step's followed by another step, and that's the way forward. That's a lesson we can all learn from. After my conversations with Josh, Allison, and Zach, I had three major takeaways. Go local whenever you can. Ask where your food comes from and buy from certified sustainable producers. As long as we're all thinking about what more we can do, what ways we can be more sustainable and intentional in what we eat and drink within our local community, we're all on the right track toward a better future.